Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Ravage Road Deck Defense. Yes, that is an E, not an I, just, just in case you're wondering. Now, this is a really cool card building tower defense game uh, where essentially you've been hired as a road builder. So let's get into it and I'll show you how it works. So we start off, we got this person here. They look like a nice person. Uh, they're giving us a card that we can use throughout. So I'm going to go with the orc, I think. All right, and then basically this is where we are. So this in the middle, this is our tower. This is where we need to build our road. And as we build our road, people will be coming to take it down because they are architects. They don't believe in roads. They just want glass structures everywhere or something. Now, down bottom right, this is our, this is what we need to place. So this is, this shows us it's like a turn. So we'll plonk that. We'll rotate it like that way. We have to place that card in order to end the turn, but everything else is optional. Now, top left, we've got 10 coins. You can see down the bottom, we've got three little goblins that we can play. Uh, they cost five coins each. So I'm going to have to place at least one to start with. So we'll place that in the corner. It seems like a good spot. And uh, because I've played this before, I sort of know that you need two. Otherwise, you, you will lose a life at the very start. So I'm going to place another one probably there. So we'll end our turn. You see there's a little person there. We can actually click on him. It tells you all about him at the bottom. Unfortunately, he didn't last very long, so we couldn't actually you read it uh, yeah there's no there's no pause in this game now uh, one thing i should mention as well is it was developed by a solo dev we love the solo dev games so fair play anyway you may have noticed i now have one coin that's because i killed the one enemy so each enemy you kill you get a coin for so basically as the rounds progress you get more and more coins each round something to remember so let's place this straight piece there i've only got one coin so we'll end our turn and we'll see what happens right so as i said before squire the most basic of enemies fundamentally unremarkable in every way basically an architect and now you can see we've drawn a different card so we've got two goblins but we've also got an orc uh, now i haven't actually used an orc this is new to me i can see it costs eight though uh, so probably better than a goblin unfortunately i've only got three coins so we won't be seeing that for a while now uh, if we click this button here we can see our deck and basically, as we go through, we have the chance to, like, change cards and add cards, remove them, etc. Uh, but for now, we've got to place the land card, the road. So we've got a T-junction. Now, enemies will come from either end of this. So there's our goblin towers. They are catapulting them. Hopefully, we'll be able to take down this guy before he gets to the tower. Yep, love to see it. So we're back up to five coins. We could afford another goblin tower. But uh, I think I'm going to save my money. And particularly as well, we're nearly on wave five. Uh, so let's just end this turn and then you'll see what happens on wave five. Oh, we've got four little squires this time. Hopefully we can take them down with just the two towers without losing any lives. They're, oh, they're getting close. They are getting close. Come on, towers. Come on, little goblins. I think we might lose a life here. Yeah, we've lost a life, an early life. But uh, we're on to wave five. So can you see bottom right? We've got that icon there. So basically, as soon as we place this land tile, we will get an option to upgrade stuff. So if I grab this, you can see now we have this, the Junk Monger. Now, every five rounds, you will get someone like this appear. But who appears is completely random. So this one buys the cards you don't want. So if I click on that, I can then take one of these out of my deck. So we'll get rid of one of those goblins. Yep, get rid of it. And we gain two, two coins for that. So we'll do that again with another one. So thank you very much. So now we're up to 12 coins and we've pulled an orc. So I reckon we're going to play that. Yeah, and we're sort of thinking maybe, maybe there would be good. So four coins remaining. Let's end our turn and let's see how the orc works. Oh, oh, it's like a big old, a big old spike. Fair play. Okay, that was a good card. A very good card. Uh, for my next piece of road, we're going to do a straight like that. I'm basically trying to come back so I can get towers in the middle that overlap everything. Now, you might be wondering what happens if you like, say I had a corner and I go into that edge there, like I put a dead end in. Well, actually, the game ends. Like the whole point of this is to build the longest road you can, sort of, as well as defend your tower. So obviously, if you build a dead end road, you've done a bad job. You've done an architect, as we used to say in the business. And yeah, I've got eight coins. I might just end my turn and hope I've got enough to defend this. It looks like we've still only got squires attacking us. There are lots and lots of types of enemies. So we we'll have to see what we get in the next few rounds. Uh, but for now, loving the, loving the orc tower, doing the damage there. All right, so 14 coins. There is another orc tower. I think I'm going to put it in. And I might just shove it right next to it as well, like that. You can only shove bits of road like next to pieces. So I can't put it there hoping to get a straight next time. That will not happen. And if I put it there, it's game over. So let's shove it up here. And I think we'll sort of try and wrap around the tower. That seems good to me. So end of turn with six coins. And then, oh, look, we've got a new person here. So that one there, he's a soldier. Slightly slower than a squire, but with more than twice the health. A minor annoyance. He has survived longer than the squires, but he is now down. 
Uh, right, so we've got we've got another orc card, but we're coming up to wave 10. I don't know if it's worth getting that or actually just saving some money now. Because sometimes the, the things that you get, the bonus ones, they allow you to upgrade these cards, but they are pretty pricey. So we're going to need some cash. Right, so we got a corner. Now I could go there and head up potentially. I don't really want to do that. I think I want to bring this one around to there. So what I might do, I might just send that that way. Uh, then we'll end our turn and we'll see what we've got this round. Just squires and the soldier again. So yeah, now the next these double orcs, they're all getting absolutely mullered. All right, so another straight piece. I think I'll shove that there. I will end the turn. You can see we've got two squires and a soldier coming from either road. Uh, at the moment, though, we're coping okay. Yeah, soldier didn't even get close. You can see that icon has appeared. So the shop is incoming. Uh, so first off, I guess we'll place the road down and then we have access to the shop. It's the blacksmith. So this is the guy that upgrades your stuff. So we've got two choices. We can actually use both. So we can increase our fire rate and we can range up. So make our range bigger. Uh, so let's click fire rate for now. And then if I were to do the orc one, you can see it costs 10 uh, to do the upgrade as well as to buy the card afterwards so this only upgrades it it doesn't actually it doesn't allow us to like place one down so we'll purchase that and then range up as well do we have the coins it's going to cost 12 we've got 14 coins i'm glad i've been saving so we'll do that and now if we look at my deck you can see deck with an e you can see that this orc card, it now costs 12, but it's got those two bonuses on. Uh, these ones that we've already placed, they don't get upgraded. So worth sort of bearing in mind as you're placing stuff early game. Right, let's end our turn. And oh my goodness, there's a horse. So this is a knight, the first cavalry type unit, twice as fast as a squire and tougher than a soldier. Let's hope our orcs can take it down. The health is down. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I think everyone else, I think they're squires and soldiers. Yeah, we should be fine. We did get an orc, but we've only got nine coins, so we don't have the opportunity to use that. Uh, so for now, corner piece, and I think I'm going to shove that there, because then if we have our road coming along here, we can get some double hits going on. Early game and late game, that's what it's all about. Right, end turn. We got another knight up the top. Now, we're not doing any damage till they get down to these two orcs. Really could use another card soon. But uh, you know what? I feel like we're creeping, actually. And yeah, because there's lots of enemies that round, we're up to 16 coins. Unfortunately, we didn't get a naught card. We've got goblins, but that's about it. Uh, okay, so let's shove another straight there. I mean, I could shove a goblin, like, maybe there, because that covers, like, quite a big area. Or would I rather do that with an orc later on? Yeah, I might want to do that with an orc later on. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go down and perhaps go there. So we're covering a little bit of the start. A little bit at the end. Now, there's only five coins, so let's end our turn. We should easily get that back. Oh, like a new enemy type. An assassin. These sneaky little murderers have a chance to dodge every hit you throw at them. So yeah, gotta watch out for them. Thankfully, they didn't do too much. And we've up the top, we just got a few a few soldiers and a few little little squires. Which means we're on to wave 13. We've got 18 coins. And yes, we finally got the orc tower, the upgraded one. So it's gonna cost 12 coins. Now let's shove that in first and then see where would be best. Oh man, the range is huge. That increase of range is actually insane. So I reckon if we go perhaps there, that's sort of that's gonna cover a lot. So yeah, we'll go, we'll go there for that one. Then we'll end our turn and let's see the damage it does. Remember, it's got an extra rate of fire over these guys as well. So we should be pretty good. Yep, that wave completely mullered before they even got to the junction. Uh, there is a horse on its way, but I don't think he's going to last very long. All right, so we pulled three goblin cards. Not ideal. So I think I'll save the money. We'll shove this corner in. Do I want to take this one back and then try and wrap that one around? Yeah, let's end our turn. Oh, look at this. Look at this. A ranger. Advanced cavalry that is even faster and stronger than a knight. And then also down the bottom, we have a catapult. The extra damage they deal to the tower makes these a threat despite being slow. So yeah, if they get to our tower. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was close. So if the catapult gets to the tower, you lose. I think you lose like four bits of life, not just one. But yeah, getting pretty serious now. So I reckon let's shove a straight probably there oh and look it's the junk monger so yeah let's get rid of let's get rid of some of these goblin cards because not only does that get us coins but it, it makes it way more likely we're going to get orcs so 21 coins we've got an orc i think we'll shove that sort of there that's gonna yeah that's gonna cover a decent area let's end our turn and let's keep an eye out for any new enemies oh this this wave seems quite easy if i'm honest so bottom one's completely destroyed those two orc towers are so good uh, gotta watch out for the assassin though because uh, he can because he can 
dodge bullets. It means he could make it through. It's just chance. Okay, he didn't. He didn't stand a chance already. So next wave, we've got 15 coins. Let's get another orc tower. I uh, might shove this one sort of yeah, maybe in there just to cover like a good bit of this top area. And then we've got another corner. I don't really want to take this road the opposite way to the other one. Maybe it's not end of the world. Yeah, sod it. We'll do that. We'll do that. End of turn. And oh, look, there's a new enemy. So the cleric heals himself and nearby allies, but does no damage to the tower if they reach it. So basically, if if he were to make it all the way through there, we wouldn't lose any, any health. Um, but they do keep others alive. So you do sort of want to get rid of them. Pretty, pretty sharpish. All right, so we got more corners. I'm going to go down that way. Then end our turn and see what we've got. Oh man, loads of horses. And look, the blue thing. What is that? It's a wizard. These magical meddlers use a spell to freeze towers and prevent them from firing. So you can see that one there. It's like it's frozen. So temporarily it cannot shoot. Not ideal. All right, common tower. Take out the healer. Take out the healer. Yes. Is it worth getting the orc or shall I try and save up now? We know that wave 20, we're going to get another shop thing potentially. Uh, but remember, every single round, there's more and more enemies. So we do get more coins every single round. All right, I think I'm going to put this T-junction over there. And I think I will I will get an Orc Tower. And I might shove it over this way. So it covers a little bit of everything. Yeah, I think there should be good. Let's end our turn and see how we get on. Right, can you see there's people absolutely blitzing it? Well, that is because of this guy, the Bard. The other enemies speed up when the Bard is nearby, as if desperate to get away. So they're playing like the weird little guitar things, uh, basically making a right racket. Um, and usually because they're at the start, they can like make all the other enemies like skip your towers if you like spam them at the start. So you got to got to watch out for him. A little bit sneaky. All right, so we've got some planes, just a straight... I think I might shove that down that way. And then 22 coins, wave 19. Is it worth getting another orc tower or shall I just save? I might just save if I'm honest. No, actually, I'm going to shove it down. I'm getting more and more coins every single round. You got to spend money to make money or something like that. So I reckon we'll shove that one there. Then end our turn. Oh, and look, a, a paladin. No special abilities, but they have 10 times the health of a basic soldier. So uh, ideally, you want to try and get rid of him if we can. I think we should be fine. I feel like our towers are pretty powerful. Uh, when they get frozen, though, that is not ideal. So yeah, he took some hits, but uh, he's just about to go down. Is he? Come on, come on. There we go, there we go. And then the icon has appeared, which means incoming shop. So we'll grab this corner. I might shove that down that way. Oh, and look, we can up fire rate of things. So... We can make the fire rate of the orc even better for 15 coins. Yeah, purchase. And then is it worth doing these little ones? I guess we may as well. It only costs six coins. Uh, and we get to a point very soon where we're going to need we're gonna need to start spending money because we'll be making more than we can spend. Uh, so for now, let's end our turn and see what we've got. Oh, we got catapults. We got cavalry. We got the wizards freezing our towers. Not ideal. And yeah, sadly, even these like top tier enemies... They're not worth any more coins. It's just one one coin per enemy. Um, but it does add up. These later ones, so I think, got like a good 15, 16 coins that round. So I think we might have to spend 15 of those on the new improved orc. Fire rate of two, range plus one. I think that fire rate is also maxed out now. Can you see that's like a solid symbol? So yeah, where shall we shove this? We want to cover as much area as possible. I think we'll go there with you. And then I've got six coins. I may as well get this goblin with a fire rate of plus one. Uh, maybe maybe shove that in there. All right, let's place the planes down and then end our turn. Boosh. Right, horses coming in fast. Uh, it's because those bloody bards making them go really fast. But yeah, those horses are cheesing it. Thankfully, we have mullered them, so that's fine. Uh, look how many enemies are in there. Most people see danger. I see potential income. So we're just down to a couple of these paladins. We're up to 15 coins already, which basically means another orc tower. Uh, just a little bit worried these two might actually make it through because I don't, I actually that, I don't know, this road, this road is meant to be the death trap. So there's one down. Can we get the other one down? Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Phew, that was close. Yeah, up to 17 coins. So definitely go with another, another improved orc. I'm probably going to shove this, you know, maybe down there-ish. And then perhaps we'll bring this road down that way. So end of turn. Let's see what we've got. Any new enemies? Yeah, this guy, Barbarian. This enemy enters a, a what? A frothing stage, a frothing rage at half health and suddenly runs much faster. Right, so when he gets health down, there you go. He's, he's red. He's off. He's off. Look how fast he is. <laughs> he's outrunning everyone. But he ran in. He ran into my orc towers. See, otherwise we've just got like some catapults, a Barbarian. 
And yeah, that is another round completed. 27 coins. So let's get another orc tower. Let me shove this one there, I think. And then maybe another goblin tower. I feel like I need to start spending money now. So you can see there, incoming shop. We've also got this one here. Can you see that? That means there is an incoming boss. So I think first off, I'm going to grab the planes. I'm going to shove that at the bottom like that. Ah, oh, then we can sell some of our cards. So I'm guessing I'll just get rid of that one for now. Or shall I not get rid of any? Because I might want to place three down every turn if I get too much money. Yeah, I think I'm not going to do anything. It's a shame that wasn't an upgrade guy. It's a bit of a waste that. Anyway, we know a boss is going to come from somewhere. So I'm going to spend all my coins getting these down. All right, let's end our turn. There is the boss. He's a champion. This boss has a healing aura that benefits all of its nearby allies. Now, thankfully, he's run off ahead because I think there was a bard behind him. <laughs> so he's not really healing anyone. There is a catapult way up ahead, though. A bit sketchy. Oh, no, everyone's catching up, which means he's healing people. Take him down. All right, he's about to enter death row. So that should mean we take him out. Yep, we're good. And did you see that? We got this. So this is a crown. So every boss you destroy, basically at the end of the game, you get to like buy upgrades. Uh, so basically your deck gets like bigger and bigger. <laughs> deck, D-E-C-K. It gets bigger and bigger the more crowns you spend on like different things, different cards. And there's also like other benefits that you can start the round with like an extra 10 coins, like that sort of stuff. You know, it's, it's like a roguelite. Um, oh, and look, look, in there, if I can click on it, there's a bear. Bears are slow, but have lots of health and will deal extra damage to the tower. So we got to take the bear down. And look, hiding under there, there was a wolf and a bird. Because basically, that was like a special a special troop that turns into different animals. Uh, can't remember the name of it. But um, yeah, let's place more towers. And look, we're up to 75 coins. So we're making more than we can spend right now. I think that's purely because I haven't played too long. I don't have many different towers at the moment. But I know there's a codex and I've seen like some of the latest ones. There's like dragon towers and all sorts. So I'm going to shove a corner there. And then, oh, look, we can hire new orcs. Now, they're, they're just going to be the low level ones. But I'd rather have orcs than the goblins, to be fair. So we'll grab both of those. Buy a high level one to go there. These goblins, because i got money to burn. End of turn. Watch all the bards scare everyone off. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many of them. Oh, no, look, they're like proper propelling everyone around. Thankfully, though, that was quite an easy round. We've got the upgraded orc. We've also got a normal orc card this time. So a bit more firepower going down as well as everything else. And we're battling again. Now, there's a lot of enemies down the bottom. I feel like, though, this is probably my, like, safest line. I can see there's an aura in there as well, healing everyone. So that's not ideal. Hopefully, you can take them out. It's got to be a healer in there. There's actually, there was two healers in there. Very sneaky. That's it. Take him down. Take him down. Phew. That was close. Anyway, we're on round 34. And if you look at the coins, we've got 177. So we really, we really need some more cards or something. Hopefully we'll get the shop next time. Round 35. Because uh, I'm literally, I'm placing every tower that I can. Uh, so money is not the problem here. It's just lack of firepower if we do start losing lives. All right, just a catapult to go. They're getting closer. They're definitely getting closer. Let's place this tile down. And then we got the shop. Yes, we got, oh, we got damage up ones. All right, I'm going to make this like the super orc one. So it's going to cost 18. And then I'll upgrade it again. So it's going to cost 21, but it's fully upgraded for damage as well as rate of fire. That is beautiful. Uh, sadly, we've only got the two normal orc towers, so we'll place those down anyway. But yeah, look how many enemies there are. Like, no wonder we're making so much coin at the moment. All right, so round 36, there's a lot of enemies that have made it down here. I'm hoping we can take them out still. That paladin's getting close. Oh my goodness, there's a wolf. <laughs> I think, oh, I think we're just about okay. That was the closest they've got, though. Thankfully, look what we have. The plus two fire rate and damage, as well as plus range orc. So might shove that in the middle, just to sort of, like, save ourselves at the end. And we've also got another T-junction, so that means even more enemies are coming. So let's end our turn. And then I guess we just hope that we can actually survive a few more rounds. I want to get to round 40. Oh man, the wizards on this one. They're freezing everything. They're freezing everything. Yeah, look, there's a group here with the wizards at the front. They're actually, they're making, they're making headway from a tower. You can see a couple of bears in the pack. Not ideal. A load of paladins as well. We got to hope that the death road actually works. Come on, death road. We got a new tower in there as well. Come on, take him down. Oh, they got so much health. They got so much health. Kill the bears. Kill all the bears. Oh, they're so close. Ah! Oh, somehow we survived. <laughs> We've still got the same amount of health. 
All right, so they're all coming around the top. So I, I reckon I probably need to, he's like, add more towers like around this edge. Now, annoyingly, if you see in the top right, there is like another another card you can get. You can put it in there. And then that's like, it casts a spell from your tower. So you can like, you can shoot like asteroids at people. And generally, they only cost like a coin or two. Uh, so right now, this stage of the game would be very useful. Like area damage. And I got coins to blow. Um, but thankfully, it looks like the placement of my new tiles has helped. We've sort of restricted that that road a bit. Ooh, and we've got a big orc as well. Let's place you somewhere decent. All right, so at the end of this wave, we've got loads and loads of enemies around here. I mean, I'm hoping we've got enough to take them down. Uh, this, is, this is pretty clutch, though. Come on, take out the bears. <laughs> oh, there's so many. They're like all stacked on top of each other. I think we're going to be okay. Oh, just about. All right, well, let's get this corner in because then we've got the shop. Oh, it's a recruiter. You know what that means? We get new towers. We can get hobgoblins. So we'll grab two of those. Yes, that makes this orc less likely to be picked up because look at our deck now. What did he just say? Yeah, but they're quite good, the hobgoblins. I enjoyed them before. All right, and let's see what wave 40 gives us. I mean, pretty much it just gave us coins. 528 to be precise. Uh, right, so this is the hobgoblin one. This guy is like a bit of a, like he's got like a huge crossbow tower. Um, quite a big area to be fair. So I might shove that maybe in there. So you can see the hobgoblin tower there shoots its arrows. Um, oh, and also there's enemies. There's enemies at the gates. There's a blooming wizard in there. Take the wizard out. Take the wizard out. There's a healer as well. Oh man, they're getting close. They're getting close. We could lose some lives here. No, the cats were, oh no, we did it. How did we take them out? We didn't lose a single life. That was so close. Can we do the same for this bunch? Yeah, I think we can. Okay, we're good. We are good. All right, we need more towers down here. Let's get some more hobgoblins, some more orcs. And let's hope wave 42 does us a bit better. Yep, it was fine. So wave 43, also fine. Wave 44, also fine. And wave 45 has given us more upgrades. So range up. Let's max upgrade this orc. 24 gold. I mean, we've got 872, so definitely fire rate up. I might shove that on a hobgoblin, you know? Oh, no, wave 46. It might be too much. It might be too much. There's so many enemies. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen. I think we're going to lose some lives. We're losing lives. We're losing lives. Oh, look at the bar going down. The bar's going down. Wait, the bar went up. The bar went up. <laughs> it's okay. The bar went up. I don't know why it went up. Ooh, wave 47. We've got the ultimate orc. Let's get him down. Fully upgraded. I think we've got to go like sort of in the middle, right? We've got 1,020 coins. It's ridiculous. Although it might not be enough. Come on, take him down, boys. Take him down. Oh, no, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Hopefully the bar will go up. Go up, bar. No, the bar's going down. Go up. You went up last time. Oh, we got two lives. We got two lives remaining. Right, wouldn't mind completing this one because I think we might get a boss next time. Wave 50. Uh, we'll have to just cross our fingers and see how we get on, I guess. Come on, take him out. Take him out. Okay, we're good. We got to round 50. And yes, there is a boss this time. Oh, as well as a shop. So the shop gives us more orcs. Now nah, I'm good. Thanks, mate. And I don't know where the boss... Where's the boss going to come from? I should probably just spread these out every right there is the boss this boss rallies the spirits of its nearby allies making them move faster oh no well let's hope we can take it out before the death row otherwise there will be a lot coming down there i mean there's a lot coming anyway i'm not too confident about this can't we just bribe them we got 1400 coins all right boss is approaching the tower he still has full health so not looking great <laughs> Uh, death row is about to be attacked from two sides i think this is this is the end we had a good time, but the architects have won this round. Our tower was destroyed. Oh yeah, this is the skill tree that you can spend your things on. So you can like, you can start with more money. You can like get different cards and stuff. Very cool. Very fun little game. And all about highway engineering as well. Right. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that. I'll say peace, love and deck with an E. Bye.